Cracking down on marijuana grow houses. All new tonight, we're taking action for you, revealing some of the key signs investigators use to track marijuana growing operations. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith is live in Tampa to explain how utility companies are often part of the investigation here, Ryan. I found out energy usage or lack thereof, quite frankly, is a major red flag. Tico discovering one couple in this North Tampa neighborhood stealing thousands of dollars worth of electricity. Then the utility company alerted law enforcement. If it isn't obvious which of these Tampa properties is housing a marijuana grow operation. These houses blend in uh, well with uh, within your neighborhood. Well, that's the point. HCSO runs a full-time squad dedicated to dismantling grow houses, 38 busted so far in 2016. If you're operating a grow house in Hillsborough County, we're coming after you. Major Frank Losat revealing some of the not-so-obvious signs an illegal pot operation may be on your block. Dark windows, no one living in the house full-time, also key, shoddy or amateur-looking electrical work. There's going to be wires coming at, off the roof into the soffit that's uh, not normal. Piping running from any type of the green electrical uh, transformer boxes. Energy usage is a common clue for investigators. They have tapped into our system, tapped into our lines, and are essentially stealing electricity from all Tampa Electric customers. Tico helps identify 15 to 20 grow houses a year including this one in town and country with an illegal electricity connection. Criminals often siphon up to 10 grand in stolen electricity per month per house. This can kill you very quickly. And so the fact that they're doing this not only illegally, but so in such a hazardous way is very concerning. And Tico telling me that once an arrest is made, the cost of that stolen electricity is recovered about half the time Customers, unfortunately, have to pick up the tab outside of that. Live in Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.